If we want to change the world, we'll need a world view to understand what all people be going through. From the water to the air, plants and soil too, we're in a global village and it includes me and you. It's true, time we knew that we can make a difference because the way the world's working now, it isn't making sense. So many are suffering and it's no coincidence because so many have so much and it has a consequence. It's nonsense, can we get beyond this? Because I know it's intense, it's immense, so we'll need some confidence. Common sense says to protect all the children. More than defense now, we'll need to work on building. For those that have less than you, count them by the billion. They might have made the clothes we're wearing. Can you keep it real then? Because everything we're doing is clearly not enough. Every day for many children, life is pretty tough. It's a tough life when you're living in a war. You want to go to school, but you can't because you're poor. And you're unsure as to what your future has in store. More kids have died from diarrhea than vets since the World War. Number two, can't believe it's true. What can we do? Make sure they have food to eat and clean water too. It's nothing new. And if we want to make it better, tell the government how you feel and write it in a letter. You can be a trendsetter. Don't have to be a go-getter because people are losing everything in really bad weather. Whether you're ready or not, can't stay the same forever. There's power in numbers, so we got to act together. It's true. And we have to work towards a solution because the products we're producing cause the world's pollution. If we don't keep reducing, recycling and reusing, the water, air and land will never start improving. How can we waste while so many are wishing? We got to move this world with a one world vision. So let's listen, because our time's running out. We need a new plan. We need a new route. No doubt. Hold out. Don't be someone who sold out. If you're feeling me, let me hear you shout. <laughs> If we want to address poverty, find the cause. If we want to make some change, we're going to have to change some laws. Just cause. Something to say when we're justifying. With the wealth in the world, no one should be dying of starvation, suffocation, or a lack of medication. We got to move this world as a one world nation. We got to get together instead of separating. Respect each other, Mother Earth, and all of creation. It's true. We got to learn from our history and realize that these lessons, they didn't come for free. They're meant for you and me. They created what we see. Together we'll shape the future now and what that shape will be. Because actually, things are moving way too gradually. The earth suffers for profits and that's a real tragedy. Opportunity isn't just for you and me. Everybody has a right. Education is the key. For a brighter tomorrow, we shouldn't have to borrow. For those who can't afford it, they shouldn't have to live in sorrow. Don't you agree? To support a family, when you're starting with nothing, it isn't very easy. Because if we're living in Canada, or if we live across the sea, if we're living on this earth, life should be free. <laughs>